Have you ever wanted to slap some divers into oblivion by Fusro dying their asses into a any object or wall? Well look no further because the Big Eye Thresher, while being the most complex shark to master, is definitely one of the most fun sharks to play and is a great addition to your roster in knowing how to shark. Alright, now let's quickly get into some tips so that we can cover this shark in a very basic way before I take you to a match in which I play against people who know how to counter Big Eye and I can show you exactly what you're supposed to do against them because if you're able to beat them, you can obviously beat the people who don't know how to counter Big Eye. Number one, your tail whip is not like a thresher's tail whip. Now as you guys know, for a thresher's tail whip, you deal damage to the divers and sometimes structures around you if you've gotten your evolution points high enough. However, for Big Eye, your tail whip actually knocks divers back with literally like a shark version of Fusro Da. And the damage that they take is dependent on the speed at which they hit objects or walls behind them. Number two, you are a squishy boy, so basically don't be staying in the room like Fatso over here just brainlessly munching on divers. No, no, no. You want to be going in, doing a hit and run, and then leaving as fast as you can so the divers cannot hit you, because so much as one bullet could potentially be your downfall with this shark. So I, I guess this uh, tip sums up to a, a solid don't get hit. All right, but for real, you should be getting Nimble Fin with the shark because it definitely helps you later in the game with avoiding the bullets from the divers. Three, your thrash damage is higher than a normal thresher's. Now this comes in huge handy because the big eye's hardest counter is divers going open water as you can no longer use your tail whip to damage them. So when divers go open water, you wanna make sure you are able to grab powerful tail or PT as most players call it in order to still be semi-viable with your slightly higher thrash damage. Four, the V. Now, th th this is a completely made up term, but it, it, it perfectly ca encapsulates what I'm about to say. All right, so when you're going up against most divers, basically you don't wanna be going headlong at them. This is because they just need to aim at you and shoot. However, if you go right alongside them, do a lunge that basically misses them and goes behind them, they're probably gonna still shoot at you, but a lot less likely to hit. And then what you can do is you can turn around and immediately lunge back at them. Now at high speed, this does take a lot of practice to master, but it really helps with the big eyes type of play style. And, and you actually kind of need it because they're too squishy to go headlong at most divers. Now keep in mind, this is pretty much only when divers are actually open watering. You do not need to be following the V when they're actually inside, un unless you're on like a, a really open map. Which brings us to number five, maps. If you want to be playing Big Eye, make sure you are not playing on Fractured. The, the map is too open. It's just like a guaranteed no fun. That That's what it is. It's not a guaranteed loss. It's just a you're not going to have fun as Big Eye. And the other one is Galleon. If you play a Big Eye on Galleon and you're like, oh, oh, yes, I want... Bruh, bruh, everyone... <laughs> uh, yeah, ev everyone wins on, on Galleon with Big Eye. It, it's just how it be. Six, don't die. D d dying kind of cringe, not, not gonna lie. All right, now let's get into a match in which I show you guys how to beat people who know how to counter Big Eye. This is gonna be your biggest struggle is people who know these tactics, and if you're able to beat them, then you're able to beat everyone who just stays in a room. That literally tail slap, that, that, that's all. I start my attack going through one of the shark highways and since there are some divers nearby, I decide to use my tail whip ability. This basically is still able to damage them and I'm able to be very safe in going through the room. Next I notice that there are two unfortunate divers who are still close to the wall even though I'm big eye. So I decide to go over there, tail whip them into the wall, it finishes them off. I look behind me, see the third diver, I try and go for him. I miss, but I luckily do another dart, manage to grab him, but it's not enough damage before I get killed. From here I get Hangry and Electro, which is going to be hugely beneficial in the early game because it allows me to see the diver's health so I know who to grab, and it also allows me to get to the room faster. On my way back to the safe, one of the divers floodgate says big eye video soon, which 
huge coincidence. Like I, I play a lot of games and there's only a few games that I decide, you know what, I'm doing this for a video and it, somehow this man nailed it. Big coinkadink. Anyways, anyways, so I decide to attack. I notice that there's a guy in a corner. I tail whip him. Luckily he dies and there's another guy at, well, actually two guys at low health. I grab one of them, am able to kill him before I then die. So it's another two for one trade. Now, as I mentioned in the tips, it's very good to get nimble. So that's what I decide to get so that I can try to avoid all of the shots from the divers from here on out. But it, not that it's going to work, but it, it, hope I, I can hope. On my way back, I notice that my partner is struggling with a couple of open water divers and I decide to help. However, here is why Big Eye is bad at open water. I managed to grab one of the divers, but I'm not able to deal enough damage to kill him and I'm not able to move around anywhere. So the other one has enough time to turn back, look at me and kill me as well, which it's very unfortunate for Big Eye when divers go open water. Luckily for my next attack, Steve is on the move, so I notice a couple of divers close to the ground, manage to deal a little bit of damage to one, I then lunge at another one, manage to kill him because he's at low health, and I escape. Keep in mind, I'm still trying to work towards PT so I can kill more open water divers. Speaking of, there's another open water diver and luckily, this guy is not being watched by anyone. So I grab him and I'm able to fully kill him and escape, even without using PT. Now the divers are starting to put down consumables and flares in the water, so they're able to see me. So I have to keep avoiding their fire while looking for a good entrance. I finally find one that I think is good to deal some damage, but it I, I'm able to deal a little bit, but I'm not able to escape like I thought I could, so I end up dying. For my next attack, I notice a diver at low health. I manage to smack him against the wall, and then I escape with another diver trying to follow me, but he's not able to kill me. I also happen to notice a diver trying to get a sneaky peek out, so I manage to tail slap him. He kind of recoils a little bit, goes back in. I think I'm able to get the kill, but unfortunately someone was watching him and I didn't notice, so it got me killed. Right now, I'm a little bit worried that the divers are using medkits, which they do happen to use later, so I try and go back as fast as I can, find the same diver at low health, and I manage to smack him and kill him. I then find a way to show some kindness and, and, and do a little sharky bow like the gentle sir that I am before going in for my next attack. I try to tail whip some peaky divers, but I end up missing s s somehow, and then one of the divers decides to go open water. So I try and chase him down. Unfortunately, I did not use the V method, so me going headlong, he's able to get some easy shots on me, and therefore I die. Luckily now, however, I am able to grab PT, so open water divers are going to be a lot easier for me to kill. I find all the divers in open water and I manage to grab one of them and since I have Powerful Tail and Nimble, I can basically kidnap him and finish him off without any threat from the other divers. Another one, however, does seem to spot where I last was and shoots at me, but I'm able to escape fairly easily and he loses line of sight. Then I decide to attempt a risky maneuver. It looks like the divers are semi-close and in a confined space, so my tail whip should probably deal a bit of damage. I go in and I manage to deal some damage to one, grab him, and I'm not able to kill him. I'm praying he doesn't have a med kit, but I do get him close to death. I get back and my biggest fears are confirmed. They are using med kits. So now they're doing open water and med kits, basically the big eyes two hardest counters. So this is gonna be quite difficult. I see my partner grab a diver, get him to low health. I don't want this diver to get a med kit, so I quickly tail whip him. Then I grab another one and escape through the same place that just seconds before I was trying to ready for a breakthrough. Unfortunately, however, the divers seem to know where I am and they kill me before I'm able to escape. But it's still a 2v1, which is a good ratio. For my next attack, I see that there's a diver shooting at a distance in open water, so I employ the V attack. So I go underneath at a weird angle for him, he manages to miss a lot of his shots, and then I turn around, immediately grab him, and since he's a little bit caught unaware, I'm able to secure a kill. For my next attack, I try and do another V maneuver on a low health open water diver. Unfortunately, I actually miss a few times, but I'm able to still kill him. However, due to the few misses, he is actually able to whittle down my health to almost nothing. But luckily, I'm able to just go to the seals and reheal. Two 
hours later. After a little bit of time and another death, I managed to grab the upgrade Headstrong, which is a fantastic late game upgrade. And this is because it basically renders Steve useless on his final trek back. All you have to do is hit him once and the stall time until he's able to move again is so significant that it's it really just makes it not even that important. On my way back, I noticed some of the divers are actually in great positions for me to do a little bit of a kidnap. So I managed to grab one and bring him under the building so that the other divers aren't able to shoot me. I then find another diver looking right down at where I was and I try to attack him. Unfortunately, I'm able to deal a little bit of damage but not able to kill him. All right, now we're in the true end game where Steve actually starts to matter. Luckily though, like I said before, I have Headstrong, so I'm able to just hit Steve once and I basically cause him to just stop moving for a long time while we're able to start picking off the divers one by one. Next, I notice a diver leaving the shark shield, so I'm able to grab him, kidnap him, and since I have powerful tail, I bring him far away where the other divers aren't able to help him. After a little bit of suspense buildup, I see my partner going in for an attack, so I decide to go and attack the people fighting him. Unfortunately though, it's it's a very bad trade and we end up both dying with a not killing a diver. Yeah, it, it was no bueno. I see this diver a little bit away from the others, so I snag him and kidnap him. Luckily, with Nimble and PT, I'm able to bring him far away where I can actually finish off the job. And then I decide to do a very quick heal because we're at a very tense part in the endgame. I find it the best decision to hit Steve again because we want to completely render him useless to give us the most amount of time to fight these divers. I managed to escape, but I'm at low health. I then go for another ram on Steve to completely immobilize him, and unfortunately one of the divers is able to kill me because of this. I head back for my next attack, manage to spot the last diver in the game, I do the V maneuver which luckily allows me to not get hit that much, and thus we win the game. Now keep in mind, these are people that actually know how to counter big eye, so if you guys are going up against people who don't know how to counter big eye and are just staying in the room 24-7, all you have to do is go in, just keep using your tail whip and escape, and then you'll still win the game. This showcase was just to show how you counter those who are really good at countering big eye. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, or 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 I will I will boop you in your gosh darn snoot.